Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of Crimes Against Internationally Protected Persons, Including Diplomatic Agents General Assembly Resolution 3166 XXVIII of the 14th of December 1973 The General Assembly Considering that the codification and progressive development of international law contributes to the implementation of the purposes and principles set forth in Articles 1 and 2 of the Charter of the United Nations, recalling that in response to the request made in General Assembly Resolution 2780 XXVI of 3 December 1971, the International Law Commission, at its 24th session, studied the question of the protection and inviolability of diplomatic agents and other persons entitled to special protection under international law and prepared draft articles on the prevention and punishment of crimes against such persons. Having considered the draft articles and also the comments and observations thereon submitted by states, specialized agencies and other intergovernmental organizations in response to the invitation extended by the General Assembly in its Resolution 2926 XXVI of 28 November 1972, Convinced of the importance of securing international agreement on appropriate and effective measures for the prevention and punishment of crimes against diplomatic agents and other internationally protected persons in view of the serious threat to the maintenance and promotion of friendly relations and cooperation among states created by the commission of such crimes, having elaborated for that purpose the provisions contained in the Convention are next here to 1 adopts the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of Crimes Against Internationally Protected Persons, including Diplomatic Agents, annexed to the present resolution. 2. Re-emphasizes the great importance of the rules of international law concerning the inviolability of and special protection to be afforded to internationally protected persons and the obligations of states in relation thereto. 3 considers that the annexed convention will enable states to carry out their obligations more effectively. 4. Recognizes also that the provisions of the annexed convention could not in any way prejudice the exercise of the legitimate right to self-determination and independence, in accordance with the purposes and principles of the Charter of the United Nations and the Declaration on Principles of International Law Concerning Friendly Relations and Cooperation Among States in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations, by peoples struggling against colonialism, alien domination, foreign occupation, racial discrimination and apartheid. 5. Invite states to become parties to the annexed convention. 6. Decides that the present resolution, whose provisions are related to the annexed convention, shall always be published together with I.